Hello, I'm going to demonstrate the Michelson-Morley experiment. Here I have an apparatus similar to what Michelson and Morley had, although this is much simpler. Uh, and uh, they didn't have uh, access to a nice laser that we have here. But here's a laser sending a beam of light into the apparatus. It goes through a beam splitter here, goes down to this mirror, comes back, and reflects over on to, in this case, the wall. And another part of that same beam goes over in this direction, reflects from this mirror, and comes through, back through the beam splitter over on to the wall. Those two beams of light will either be in phase or out of phase, depending upon the path length, that is the optical path length difference between light in the north-south direction and light in the east-west direction. It'll depend on the optical path length difference. It'll also depend on the wavelength of light. And a pattern will be formed on the wall over here depending upon those variables. Now let me explain in just a little more detail uh, how the, uh, uh, the Michael Samorley apparatus is set up. Uh, here I have a laser coming in and it gets split by this beam splitter here. Part of the light goes over to this mirror and comes back and comes out. Let me turn that around so that you can see this mirror in a little more detail. So this is one of the mirrors. And that mirror will be the, the, the mirror that reflects the light uh, from along the east-west direction. And then we have another mirror here. And part of the light from the laser will go through the beam splitter, reflect from this mirror, and come back, and then reflect over onto the screen. So we have a mirror here that will reflect light as it goes in the north-south direction and a mirror over here that will reflect light that goes in the east-west direction. And those two beams of light, north-south, east-west, will get together and form a pattern on the wall over here. So now let me demonstrate uh, what I mean by a, a shift of the fringe. Here we have the various fringes here going from dark to bright, dark, bright. Each one of these bright rings we can think of as a fringe. And I'm going to turn the lights down and we're going to demonstrate how we can uh, shift those fringes from one to another. I'm going to shift the fringes by turning a knob which will change the path length of the light as it reflects from one mirror compared to the path length of the other beam of light that reflects from the other mirror. That would be one fringe shift. That would be two, three, four, five. So each time we change from dark to bright and those circles move in, it would be one shift of the fringe. What Michelson and Morley were uh, expecting to find was when they did their experiment, they were expecting to see a third of a fringe shift and their apparatus was sensitive enough to measure a hundredth of a fringe shift. Now let me explain now and demonstrate their actual experiment. Now Michelson Morley didn't have a nice uh, system like we have here with a laser to project the beam onto the wall. They were actually looking through a telescope, but nevertheless the idea is the same. They took their entire apparatus and rotated it 90 degrees, effectively interchanging north-south with east-west. In a minute we'll show that up close and watch that pattern uh, change. But they rotated their apparatus a full 90 degrees, interchanging east-west with north-south. They expected to see a third of a fringe shift, and their apparatus was sensitive enough to see a hundredth of a fringe shift. And uh, let me demonstrate what they actually saw. So let's take a close look at that uh, pattern on the wall, and I'll rotate that around again. And we'll watch that pattern and see if there's any shifting of the fringes as I rotate that 90 degrees. We see that there's no fringe shift. They observed no fringe shift. So in conclusion then, Michelson and Morley were not able to observe any difference in the speed of light traveling north-south from the speed of light traveling east-west. The Michelson-Morley experiment.